I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Doing It All episode 43. So, like I've been saying, uh, things are starting to speed up, like I'm not using up all of every day because I don't need to use up all of every day. There's very few things left for us to actually have to do. Uh, mostly in this episode I focused on maintaining the potatoes and like feeding our animals. I also buy a goat this episode because we do need a goat. But uh, mostly this episode I uh, focused on sort of working towards the animal goals. So, you know, buying a goat. The barn got finished upgrading this episode and I'm going to build a deluxe barn soon. Maybe next episode. I definitely have the money... Uh, I spent, like, an entire day this episode chopping down enough trees to get enough wood for it. And I think I already have, like I, like I said, the money in stone. But, uh, we should be able to do that next episode. And then it'll just be a matter of actually buying the pig. We might put off actually building the deluxe barn for a little bit. Just so that we can actually accumulate some more money. You know, have more money stored up. So that when we go into spring, or into summer, we have a lot of money to buy starfruit seeds with. That's that's pretty much the plan here, is I want to get as much money as possible during summer, plant a pretty big crop of starfruits in summer. I think I keep saying, like, the season's wrong. But get as much money as possible during spring, so that we can buy lots of starfruit seeds during the summer, put down a huge crop of that, and then grow it, make lots of money, and then we can buy all the things we need to buy. So, uh, like I've said many times, there's not a lot left for us to do. So I'm sorry if you guys don't like seeing days go to waste, but for the most part we're just trying to like get through the days to get to fall, basically. I do need to plant an apple tree. It won't start yielding fruit until fall anyways, but it might be good for me to do that relatively early. Like on the first day of summer, so that we, or before, so that we can have it right away in fall. So that's definitely a thing we want to do. I also heard that yams can be obtained from duggies in the mines. Those are like the little diglet looking things. And uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't looked into it. I tried to go and kill some briefly before, but I think. Since we have to get to fall anyways, we might as well just get to fall, plant a yam, and then grow it. Because we do have to grow the beets in fall, and we might as well, at that point, just get the yam in fall as well by growing it. So we'll do that. People are starting to get to 10 hearts, and 8 hearts for the bachelors and bachelorettes, so we can stop giving some people gifts. Like, I have Linus maxed out, uh, Abigail, Leia maxed out. Penny is at 9 hearts out of 10, so she's like nearly there. And there is still the star drop to get from getting married and then having your spouse out of, at uh, 13 out of 12 hearts. That'll be pretty easy though, especially since Penny loves the wallpaper 75. So just every single day I'll be able to give her a gift that she loves, and it should get to 13 hearts pretty quickly. And there's that goat, uh, like I said. And we just have to wait for the goat to get grown, really. It's a good thing that you can get the goat first, because the pigs, I don't believe you have to have any specific heart level to get the truffle from them. Like, basically, just as soon as they're grown, you let them outside and you get the truffle. But, uh, with the goat, you have to actually, like, wait for it to grow up so it can start producing milk, and then you have to get its heart level high enough, or get lucky enough. I don't know if it's entirely determined by heart level. I don't think it is. But, basically, we just have to keep tending to the goat until uh, we get a large goat milk. And I think I've been told before that it isn't dependent on heart level, but I'm used to thinking it is because I used to play Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town a lot, and in that one, it was definitely dependent almost entirely on heart level. So the higher heart level you had, the uh, better quality goods you got. And I feel like that's a pretty good system, although, you know, it should be harder to maintain the animals if it's going to be, uh, you know, higher rewards for keeping them healthier and happier. In Friends of Mineral Town, the Harvest Moon game that I mentioned, uh, it's definitely a lot harder. I know for a fact that in that game the animals can actually die. Like, sometimes they'll just get sick, and if you don't give them medicine, then they die. And although that's a bit harsher, I feel like it's more worth it. Like, animals feel... 
more worth it in that game when there's a risk that you can lose them. Although in this one, you have the ability to just build barns wherever you want, or coops wherever you want. So you could actually just, like, fill up your entire farm with nothing but coops everywhere, or nothing but barns everywhere, and then go around collecting all of the goods every single day, and probably make a fairly decent amount of money like that. Um, like, I haven't tried that, but I imagine that would be an okay strategy. Maybe I'll try that for, like, the next one. I don't know. I still haven't decided what I'm doing for the next one, but either way, we're coming up on the end of the video, so uh, thanks all for watching. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe if you aren't already, helps out a whole bunch, and I'll see you guys all next time.